Hello, my name is Nancy Main of nancymainhealth.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make a type of mayonnaise that is healthy. The thing about store-bought mayonnaise is the majority of it has polyunsaturated fats and polyunsaturated fats get damaged because of the way they're processed. That includes safflower, sunflower, canola, soy, corn, all these types of oils are full of free radicals because they've been damaged. This causes health problems. So I would like to offer alternatives that are easy to make at home and don't include any of those rancid oils. I call this first recipe macadamia mayonnaise and it includes one quarter cup California olive oil. This is organic olive oil. I'm including a half cup of nuts, which last time I used macadamia nuts and it tastes awesome. This time I'm trying Brazil nuts, about a half a cup chopped nuts that are raw. And then one quarter to one third teaspoon of salt and a quarter cup of fresh squeezed Meyer lemon juice, ideally organically grown lemons. Start out your blender on the lowest speed and then gradually turn it up a little at a time and finish on a quite high speed until it thickens. Now it should be thickened This one didn't come out quite as thick as the macadamia version, but it looks good. And we'll just label this and keep it in the fridge. This one is the Brazil nut mayo. And this one is the macadamia nut mayo. Of course, it's been refrigerated for a little while. Next, I'd like to show you how I make what I call tasty mayonnaise. This includes garlic, which this is about six cloves, quite large cloves, or a quarter cup of garlic. I have a whole lemon. This is a Meyer lemon that has been peeled and the seeds taken out of it, the ones that are easy to find. Then I have spices. These spices are a half teaspoon black pepper, a third teaspoon salt, a tablespoon of cumin powder, and a dash of cayenne pepper. Next, I put a quarter cup of olive oil. that's all of it, then we'll blend it. We use the same method, starting on a low speed and continuing to increase the speed until it's on high speed. I really enjoy using this Blendtec blender. It gets things very smooth. I use it for almond butter, sauces, and this mayonnaise. This is a tasty mayonnaise. Got a different spice flavor. It's a little bit more on the runny side, which works. It thickens up a little in the refrigerator. Now I'm going to do another version of the tasty mayo, which starts out with a quarter cup of olive oil. use California olive oil. It's less likely to be cut with some other kind of oil that I don't want. 
Then I have a quarter cup of steamed daikon radish that I'm using instead of the garlic. It could be used half and half, garlic and daikon as well. And one whole lemon, which some of the seeds have been taken out of. And then the same spices, which this includes a half teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, one third teaspoon salt, one tablespoon cumin powder, and one dash cayenne pepper. You could use a different spice other than cumin. You could use smoked paprika if you wanted. And now I'm going to take this over and blend it. So as you can see, these sauces are very simple to make. This is the tasty mayo with daikon radish instead of garlic. And everything will thicken up a little in the refrigerator. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Please let me know what you think about these recipes in the comments below. If you want to know more about the problems with polyunsaturated oils and fats, you can check out my video called Six Steps to Protecting Your Heart that has a huge amount of information in it. Also, if you like this channel, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you.